Thank you. My eyes have now crossed officially. Uh, here to react on all of this, Hans von Spakovsky, Heritage Foundation Senior Legal Fellow. All right, Hans, this back and forth between hey. the president and the attorney general getting uglier, it appears. How do you think this whole thing plays out? Well, look, the important uh, message today, of course, was immunity given to the uh, CFO of uh, the Trump company. But I have to tell you, uh, that's only important if the testimony that he gives uh, relates to the payments that Cohen made and if those are actually violations of federal campaign finance law. And mm -hmm. most campaign experts say it wasn't a violation of the law, despite uh, Cohen pleading guilty. And that's just, not just me saying it as a former commissioner on the FEC, but others, such as Brad Smith, a former chairman of the FEC, has said this is not a campaign-related expense. Therefore, it wasn't a violation of the law to make that payment. So why would they pursue this so vigorously if, if the end game is not illegal? Well, because, look, they were able to uh, force Michael Cohen into a plea agreement, so they got that. But uh, if they actually have to prosecute this case, they would probably lose. They, they've tried this once before. Remember, 2011, they tried to prosecute John Edwards, former Democratic mm -hmm. presidential candidate, arguing that his payments to a, mystery, a mistress were campaign-related expenses. They lost. And two other former chairs of the Federal Election Commission at the time told the court that these were not campaign-related expenses, and therefore, these rules and restrictions don't apply. But when you hear the expression, given, you know, granted immunity, it feels like there's something up their sleeve. They wouldn't grant it without some sort of gotcha sort of uh, uh, information. Is that a possibility? Well, yeah, it, it certainly could be. But I think they're, they're going forward, that is, the prosecutor, on the claim that uh, the information he's got about the payments made by Cohen uh, were a violation of federal campaign finance law. And as I said, mm. uh, experts on this and former commissioners say the U.S. Attorney's Office is wrong. This was not a violation of federal law. Ten seconds, Hans. What about Jeff Sessions? He's pushing back against the president. But does the president have a point? Come on, Jeff. Open up the papers and documents without redaction. The country's waiting on you. Does the president have a little bit of a case? Well, I do think that all the documents that um, uh, Congress is asking for in its investigation, mm -hmm. yes, they ought to be all declassified and they ought to be all turned over to Congress. Well, we'll see if that happens. Hans uh, von Spakowski, thank you so much, Hans.